It is an abomination what the Fabian excuse fuckheads are doing. They are in the mainstream media. Today, James O'Brien on LBC practically, well, did unequivocally accused the Prime Minister of this country of murder, if not what could be construed as genocide on your own people, or at the very least manslaughter of thousands. He basically accused the Prime Minister of murdering all these people. Then, he doesn't let anyone speak about it. He says, now taking your calls on whether you're sending your child to school or not, and then doesn't take any calls on what he said. I phoned up, I wanted to speak about it, Boris, I wanted to speak about this moonshot that Boris said. Was it a hundred billion pounds? Is this a joke? This has got to be a joke. Did he actually say that? Is it a coincidence that that's what Trident costs as well, a hundred billion pounds? To me, it must be a joke. Like, why would you need to test a million people a day? Like, is this the future for this country? Is this what we're going to be doing in the next 50 years? We're just going to be testing things? We test, we test, we test? Is that how they see it? Or is he expecting someone to pull him up and say, Hey, listen, come on. Once we've already had the virus, what's the point in testing for it? It must be a joke. Who would spend a hundred billion pounds on testing centres? Anyway, I wanted to speak about that. But James O'Brien can just go around and accuse the Prime Minister or the government of this sort of murder, genocide, manslaughter of people, basically saying it's their fault that people have died, right? Then, you know, because they were saying, well, you we should have locked down earlier, should have locked down everything, locked down everything, get all the PPE. Were they expected to just make 50 million masks in, like, a week? Like, they ask for these things that are totally unrealistic. And then, then they say, oh, my God, look at the economy. Like, well, it would have been a heck of a lot worse if we'd done what you'd said straight away. Driving me crazy. These Fabians. They have. They have struck. This is their game. They're playing hardball every day. Hyperbole. Look it up. Hyperbole. Deliberately exaggerate for effect. Boris Johnson called a general election in December 2019. He based it on get Brexit done. It's what the people voted for, it's what they wanted. There was no such thing as a Remainer after June 24th 2016. That's when Remainers became Ramonas. And you're still bloody moaning even though Brexit's done. You're still looking at ways you can revert it and undo it. And I tell you what, the Fabians have struck. I wouldn't put it past them at all to have even caused this virus. And whoever they're linked with as well internationally. So, Boris Johnson wins the election. Big majority. Thank you very much. We're getting Brexit done. Due for January the 31st, 2020. Right, what happens in January? There's some floods. We've got some floods. And Boris Johnson is accused of not being there. Where is he? The people were saying, Oh, my, my road's flooded. Where's Boris? Why isn't he standing there, knee-deep in water? Huh? Who got a flood? He's supposed to be the Prime Minister. Why isn't he here sorting it out? Alright, so these sorts of voices are what the mainstream media are putting on, right? And it's an idiotic thing to say. As if the Prime Minister being there knee deep in water is going to help you. You numbskull. 
Right, January 31st, Brexit happens, so-called, but still the moaners moan on and on and on. And then COVID. So, the government was doing what they'd probably do during SARS and everything else. Okay, you know, the first we heard about it, okay, it seems to be affecting older people, you know, because it was hitting Italy. It doesn't seem to be affecting the young so much. Phew! Okay, let's battle it like we do every other virus, SARS, blah, all the others, and get through it. Get the immunity and get through it. Be done with it. But no, something's different this time. What did they get us to do? They got us to lock down and stay in our houses. The virus is outside. Don't go out there and our hospitals will be inundated with people melting on the inside and shaking and their heads going like this and they'll just be panic. So the government did what they had to do, you know. Every other country was doing it. The WHO was saying this and da 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 da. They had to do something. They did a different type of lockdown. They asked the people. We got a letter through the post. I mean, that's the first time the government's ever sent me a letter. Great. I'm on your side. Thank you for the letter. I read it. And I understand. And I will do what you're asking me to do. Because you've asked me as well. You know, that's the first time ever. So anyway, so the cases. Oh, we've got this many every day. This many people are dying every day. Eddie Mayer's on the radio reading out the names of people who have died. I phoned up LBC at that point. First time caller got through to Darren Adam at three o'clock in the morning. I got my point across. You know, maybe so many people are dying in this country because their immune systems are already very poor because doctors have been giving them antibiotics for years and years. And the flu jabs, supposed to stimulate your immune system, it does the opposite. A doctor's done a test where some, a following year they've measured antibodies and the person who had the flu jab was making less antibodies than the person who hadn't. Right? So they do the opposite. They don't stimulate your immune system. They weaken the immune system. And more than that, they propagate the virus. They keep the virus going by giving all these people flu jabs. You know, there's a little bit of the virus and then they're coughing away in the next couple of days. They're spreading the virus. You lot, they are, people listen, they are not this stupid. This is being done on purpose. Your immune systems are being weakened on purpose. They plan to annihilate most of you. And LB Street and Mainstream are criticising people like me on YouTube, even though I have really, sorry Jesus, fuck all followers. You know, there are other people like me, and luckily, because there's enough of us, we make some sort of impact. They're not this stupid. They're trying to do eugenics. And you're not in the club. If you don't know about it, you're not in the club. <clears throat> Covid lockdown, then they close the schools. Don Cummings goes for a drive. The media absolutely hammer him, right? And a few days later, there's thousands of people on the streets pulling down statues in the name of BLM. And that, according to the media, is absolutely right. And the police should take a knee. What? What sort of fucking sense does this make? None. It's absolute lunacy. Because they close the schools, they cancel the exams. I'm always thinking at this point, there must be something else going on. And Boris Johnson referred to it today in replying to the deputy Labour leader's questions in any questions. She didn't ask about it, but he brought this up. 
They're making arrests of paedophiles and sexual... Whatever they're called. I think there's undercover stuff going on here. They've been making arrests of the county line stuff. That happened quite early on in lockdown. So perhaps they felt, right, we're being forced into this position by the media. Good opportunity to actually to do some good here. Now, I've actually been wondering lately, you know, have I been fooled by Boris and Trump? You know, is it the city of London that wants to keep its offshore tax havens? Did they want, did they promote Brexit? Did they promote the idea of Brexit? I mean, thinking, is that possible? And I'm thinking, no, it's not. People have been against EU for ages. Just look at Nigel Farage. We haven't liked the club. I just don't like the feel of the EU. You, you don't see who's running it. When we were in the EU, what? why weren't we talking about it daily and what their decisions they're making? Why, is, why wasn't that on the news? No one cared. It was so boring. Now and then there'd be some EU law that had passed that we'd hear about. And usually something we didn't particularly like. So, no, I think Trump and Boris are actually good guys. There's my hope, because there ain't no others. I don't want to go back to the politics where all they do is make sure that what comes out of their mouth is going to be okay in the papers. And in the end, they don't actually say anything. They just utter what is permissible and won't get them fired and um, will keep people thinking that they're progressive or something. And everything, you know, about this, you know, the, the exams are cancelled and then they're having a go at the government, you know, going, well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And they're never actually offering any solutions. It's always just doom and gloom. What are you going to do? Keir Starr the other day started talking about, oh, we don't want unemployment to go back to the days of Margaret Thatcher. I mean, what the fuck? Apologies. I mean, why are you bringing Margaret Thatcher into this? The unemployment is directly caused by the COVID lockdown. Right? You told everyone to lock down the country. Well, we've got to look over our own people. Can't let one person die. Oh, one death is too many. <laughs> People die every day. When they were quoting the numbers, 1,500 people dying every day. Well, that's how many people die every day in this country. The country is 60, 70 million people. You know? Thousands, a thousand people at least die every day. On average, throughout the year. We list all their names. Why don't we talk about that every day? They select. It's proper propaganda. And gaslighting, and they're using all their tricks. This is so Fabian. They've got a script, and there's many involved. Pushing and pushing and pushing. It's just a Fabian strike. Absolutely. They're reopening the schools now, at last, after all the complaining. And you had all these people on the, you know, obviously they select which teachers should go on the media and speak and they're sort of saying things like well the government has to tell us what to do oh you know they have to tell us how much space we need and how many masks we need to wash and who should we stand behind with the government needs to give us direction otherwise we don't know what to do you're a fucking school you're supposed to be clever use some initiative god Following this rant, I haven't had one for a while, have I? I don't know. I might add some um, things uh, to back up. Uh, but, hey, we'll see. Okay, bye.